Hey folks, and in this afternoon's video I'm going to talk about the speed function on this Casio GA110. So the speed function is what this little hand is here, here is for, and it's part of the chronograph mode. And it's, a, it's like a tachymeter function that you get in a normal um, mechanical chronograph. Um, so how that works is you start the stopwatch and you time the distance, you time the time over a given distance and say it's uh, one mile and it's going to take you 15 seconds to do one mile. Um, it means you're actually going at just about 250 miles an hour. And this can work in the same way. So if I should put it in stopwatch mode and start it and do the same 15 seconds. I've noticed this does thousands of a second for the stopwatch, isn't that clever? Um, but there, yeah, so if I stop it just before 15 seconds, it should also read 250 and I'll show you how it reads that. So it's showing the 200 with these bars up here, it can do up to nine bars across there, so there's two bars and it's just, the little hand is just in, in under the 50 segment there, so it's showing 250. And if I reset that, the hand will swing back round. And whereas a normal chronograph, um, like this one, it, it only really goes up to about 250 and it gets quite inaccurate above that. Or This one's actually um, timed for uh, speeds that take more than a minute. Um, but this one can measure up to 1,999 miles per hour or whatever the unit is. And I'll, so I'll just show you it doing that. So I'll just start it and run it for a couple of seconds. So you'll notice whether it says 1,000 here, there's a little arrow there, so that's saying it's 1,000, and then you've got 300s there, and it's in about the 20-second segment there. So 1,320 miles per hour, or whatever the units are. Now the other thing this watch can do that a normal um, mechanical chronograph or tachymeter can't do, is you can set a distance other than one. So the bezel on the the normal watch is calibrated for one of whatever the units are, um, but you can change that to be um, more than one, and um, I think you can also adjust the fractions as well. I'm going to leave it at one, but what that you could use that for, if you were timing a lap of a, a car race for instance, and the lap was 2.3 miles, um, if you timed the lap um, it would tell you what the average speed was for the lap for the car. So uh, that's a useful function it can do that a normal chronograph can't do. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what this, how the speed function works. And as ever, thanks for watching. Cheerio.